Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man Renegade Podcast YouTube channel. I'm your host, Aaron Greg B, and it's Friday, so you know what that means. It's time for another Fairfield video, Fairfield Friday video, I should say. And we got another field goal box. This is the fifth one we got. So if you've missed any of the previous field goal boxes or any other previous Fairfield Friday boxes, uh, or videos, I should say, uh, head on up there, check those out while you're at it. If you haven't already, if you're new to the channel, head on down, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell and it'll let you know when the videos drop. Also head on up and hit that thumbs up button because I know you're like the video and hit that share button as well and share it with everyone you know because they're going to like it as well. Head on down in the comments, say hi. Tell me how you've done with your Fairfield products in the past or just talk about Friday or football or whatever else you want to talk about. Just say hi. It's cool. Then check out the links in the description for my blog, podcast, and other social media. All right. We've done this before. We've done plenty of these with the Fairfield Friday boxes, the field goal boxes, the hot corner boxes. You know how it works. You got one autograph. You got one memorabilia. You got a hobby pack, and then you get three uh, retail packs. Um, so, yeah, there we go. And there you go. Uh, check out the Fairfield company on facebook i suppose if you want to or whatever uh yeah uh there we go all right uh you know honestly like i would say go check these out these boxes out for yourself but i haven't seen any in a really long time i got a whole bunch at target and on target.com they had them and amazon.com had them for a while but oops we're ruining the hits um try to hide the hits as best i can but um here we go uh yeah so i i don't know if you can find them they might be on ebay but they're probably overpriced um but if you can find them pick them up they're cool all right we got uh 2016 donruss then another 2016 donruss okay then we got 2020 leaf draft football and then rounding things out we have a 2015 panini contenders draft picks so okay couple of draft packs and a couple of 2016 will go in chronological order as i like to do so we're kicking things off with 2015 panini contenders draft this is a retail pack i'm assuming does i mean panini is always kind of weird sometimes they'll i feel like they used to stay on the packs if they were hobby or not but then like i feel like they stopped doing that i don't know maybe they haven't maybe i just haven't gotten any hobby packs recently i don't know but we got Jamal Jamal Charles. There's a blast from the past. Dwight Freeney, Clay Matthews, uh, passing grades, Blake Sims. We got a uh, game day tickets of Corey Grant, uh, Malcolm Agnew. Then we got Rashad Green and Joe Flacco. Old school colors rounding out things there. So nothing really great out of that. Um, all right, let's move on to the Donruss. 2016 packs we got two of them for some reason whatever i guess we could have gotten worse i suppose we got fran tarkenton old school right there marquise wilson there's another joe flacco uh buck allen uh whitney merciless chris johnson richard jones we got a paxton lynch rookie card and a kid reporter card. All right. Next up, we got another pack of 2016 Donruss. See how we do in this pack. We got uh, Mar Marcus Mariota, uh, Malcolm Butler, Barry Sanders. That's cool. Uh, Jameson Crowder, David Johnson, Devontae Parker, Warwick Davis. Our rookie card is Keenan Reynolds. And we got a uh, download the app. For gridiron, panini gridiron, whatever that is. All right, before we get to the 2020 Leaf Draft, um, let's check out our hits. We got a, ooh, a patch auto, RPA as they're called, I believe, a rookie patch auto of uh, DeAnthony Thomas from the Chiefs from Crown Royale, uh, number dot two ninety nine of 2015 uh, panini. Crown Royale. Crown Royal. I mean, that's a really cool card. Don't get me wrong. I just don't remember DeAnthony Thomas at all. I don't know what he's... What, don't, don't know anything about DeAnthony Thomas. But definitely a cool card. I mean, on-card autograph, you got a patch with, like, you know, the stitching and stuff, too. 
uh, numbered out of 299 and if it was a little bit a better player it'd be really cool but obviously they, you know they're not going to throw in like a really good player in the, for that kind of card and then our uh memorabilia card so we got two memorabilia cards technically we got Lear landry jones out of 213 that's a random number um at one point it was trying to sell for ten dollars five dollars uh and it booked for ten i guess i think that's what that's supposed to signify all right that's not bad i mean you know i've gotten i've got, definitely gotten worse uh relics in these boxes and uh autographs and stuff but those are cool cards they're just they were better players they'd be a little bit more notable all right let's move on to this 2020 leaf draft um Peck, let's round things out. We got Henry Ruggs the third. That's decent. AJ Dillon, he uh, had a he ended up having a decent year for the Packers. A uh, Cam Akers, he had a decent year for the Rams. That's a gold version. And then we got Austin Mack and Touchdown Kings Jalen Hurts, who you know ended up being the starter for the Eagles after Carson Wentz was well, Carson Wentz. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, I, it'll be interesting to see what happens with that going forward because obviously Carson Wentz still got a couple years on his deal, I believe. But uh, obviously they drafted Jalen Hurts, a uh, pretty significant uh, draft pick uh, last year. So, you know, and then he's starting now. So I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what ends up happening down the line with that. But um, obviously the Eagles didn't have a great year. Although they were they were in it until right up to the end because the <laughs> NFC East was so terrible. But, all right, thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, that's going to do it for Fairfield Friday and the field goal box this time out. Um, you know, didn't do spectacular in what, what we pulled. I mean, the, the hits were kind of cool. They just were, you know, not anyone you'd want to really, you know, not anyone you'd really care about. Um, but uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, uh, subscribe, like, and share. Come back every day for more videos. Come back maybe next week, maybe another Fairfield Friday or a Mystery Friday probably uh but thank you everyone for watching stay safe have fun have a great weekend we'll talk to you next time bye